it was my truly great honor in my life of serving the church and doing my best to fulfill my vocation to actually know John Paul II personally. He wrote me a letter approving of what I did. I was so honored and happy for that letter. And I show it now like when I come to a parish or to a diocese to look. It's amazing to see that John Paul II approves of all these books and meditations I am doing. And he asked me to explain to him why Buddhism was something, the teachings of Buddha are something that can help Christians as well. And I was so happy to tell him. And so I explained to him these truths and I wrote them down. Buddha actually taught four noble truths. The first is that all life is conditioned by suffering. All of us suffer in our lives. The reason for selfishness, actually the worst of all of our sufferings, is selfishness. So therefore, if we get rid of selfishness, that's the third truth, then we can look around and see the needs of others. And at that moment, our life will become so happy and so fulfilled with goodness. And here are the steps, he said, to do that. Don't have bad judgment of, against other people. Just say thank you to other people for being there. Don't have any negative judgments about people. You're no good. The negative judgment harms you and doesn't help him or her. Don't use negative words. No, I don't want to. Every time you're negative, you get older. Every time you're positive and happy, you get younger. Karma means deed. We all should have good karma, so we must realize have good karma means do good deeds. We should only do this by using our whole lives with compassion. Serve the needs of others. Forget yourself. Run and help the other person. Have only good thoughts in your mind. Every bad thought in your mind makes you old. And always concentrate when you meditate. When you meditate and you want to see the divine presence, when you want to do real meditation, stop judging. Stop desiring. Just be quiet in your belly. And that's why the Buddhist puts his hands like this on his belly button and consecrates there and you will be in divine presence. And John Paul II really liked that, and he thanked me for that explanation. Thank you, Nathaniel.